No, people don't know what I'm talking about over here. I have to speak really slowly, otherwise people don't understand my accent. You know, like I checked in the hotel, you know. G'day, mate, how you going? He goes, I'm sorry, sir. I'm, Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's like an expression you got over here. You know, you call uh, flip-flops flip-flops. <laughs> we don't call them that in Australia. We call them thongs. <laughs> you know, we call thongs over here, women's G-strings. Nobody told me that the first time I got here. <laughs> it's in the conversation I was having with this bloke in the street. He go, man, when she'd been over, you could see her thong. I said, whoopie do. <laughs> what are you looking at a thong for? He said, it was popping out the top of her jeans. I said, what was popping out the top of her jeans? Her thong. Her thong was popping out the top of her jeans. What's a friggin' thong doing popping out the top of her jeans? He said, oh, man, when you look down at jeans, you could see her thong. She must have loose jeans on. I said, by the way, where's the other one? The other what? I said, thong, they always come in twos. He said, what do you know about thongs? I said, I'll wear them. He said, do you? I said, yeah. He said, when? I said, when I'm feeling hot. When it's cold, I put a sock on first and put the thong over that. <laughs> What's the big deal? My mum wears them, my dad wears them. <laughs> See, are we talking about the same thing? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I had a girlfriend 10 years ago. <laughs> no, no, I've had other ones in between that. I'm talking about this particular one. She used to wake me up in the middle of the night and ask me questions, you know, just out of the blue, three o'clock in the morning. Carl, what? What? She says, tell me the truth. I said, I'll try. <laughs> she said, do you find me attractive? I said, I can't even see you. <laughs> I drove her mad. She went crazy because of me. I drove her nuts. She started hallucinating at the end. She started coming home late and I going, Carl, I'm seeing someone else. What? I said, there's no one here, you dickhead. She says, Carl, I'm sleeping with someone else. I said, you're not. It's me. <laughs> you ever wonder where words come from? I thought about that the other day. I thought, where do words come from? At one point in history, there were no words. We are all just walking around looking at each other going like that. You know, one day someone went, hey, we need some words. Because words are just noises, right? Like, uh. that's a noise, but it's not a word. But word is the noise for word. <laughs> yeah, like numbers. And you can use noises too. If you ever, you know, you think noise is, is, sounds stupid. You know when people talk a lot and they won't shut up? You just want them to go? And they won't. You just make a noise and that just gets rid of them. They go, oh really? I go, mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like numbers, one, two, three. Where, one, where do we get one from? One, why is it one? Why wasn't it whoa? <laughs> it could have been <laughs> Two could have been <laughs> Three could have been <laughs> Would have made that Jackson song a bit different. A, B, C. It's easy as <laughs> now instead of saying a thousand, you could have said. <laughs> now we wave with our arms. Looks stupid after a while. Could have been with our legs. Get him out of here, all right? <laughs> instead of saying see you, you might have went. <laughs> but instead of good thanks, you went. <laughs> Would have been fun walking in the shops these days. G'day mate, how are you going? Give us coffee. And, uh, pies, thank you. How many kids you got? I've got whatever you've got. Johnny, I've told you. 
I've told you <laughs> times. Stop playing around, I'll tell your mother. How is your wife, mate? She's pretty... <laughs> oh, shit, it's half past. I better go. Okay. Right. Thanks a lot. Good night. Thank you.